This is Roma, Texas, a small border community which lies along the Rio Grande River. We return here less than a year later to see how war, as the cartels refer to it, have affected the region, and also to understand how what's happening in Mexico directly affects citizens in the United States. What we found was stunning. Miguel Aleman is a small community on the other side of the river, and for over a decade has been under the control of Cartel de Gafo, also known as the Gulf Cartel. But in early July of 2019, all of that would begin to change as war came to the region, and these two cartels began to battle along the frontera. Today, it's a different Miguel Aleman than we remember. You can not just see it visually, but you can feel it in the air. The lack of listening to children playing in the river or fishing along the river bank. There is no one here, just smugglers. Raft after raft during the night and during the day crossing, moving people illegally between the ports of entry into the United States. And the reason for that is very clear. The Los Zetas now control most of Miguel Aleman. And we have seen some really good strategy being used during these battles back and forth. One of them was from the Los Zetas, not trying to take on the Gulf Cartel direct, but effectively flanking the Gulf Cartel around Lake Gomez over the course of several months, and then eventually taking Camargo and cutting them off from all supply. This was a brilliant delaying action, which bought time by allowing them to encircle their enemy. And it worked flawlessly. Another thing that the Zetas did is they didn't come in and just go to war with everyone. They came in and bought their way in. So today, many of the independent smuggling organizations operating along the Rio Grande in this area are now just going to work for the Z's because they can make money doing it. One of the things that we continued to look for was to try to find the effects in the United States as a direct result of the Los Zetas taking over certain territory in Mexico. And what we found was absolutely stunning. And what you're about to watch occurred over 80 miles into the United States in the small community of Hebronville, Texas. <laughs> One of the first things that you're going to see here is the barrel of a rifle and right next to it a light bar. Now this is a common tactic we see amongst cartels all over Mexico where as they ride down the road at, at high speed they've got their weapon platform ready to fire at any moment laying up on the dashboard. In addition they have red and blue lights available just as they do in Mexico to help them get through traffic if need be having to flee from the Mexican military or law enforcement. In this video, you're going to see the exact same thing. As they arrive, you will hear Google Maps say to the smugglers, your destination is on the right. In half a mile, your destination will be on the right. Ya, un minuto. And as the camera pans, you'll see a gate with an awaiting truck ready to pick up cargo. But also a speed limit sign, further validating they are in the United States. Now we worked very closely with law enforcement to try to determine where this gate was. And what we were able to see is that this is a common smuggling route that gets you around the Hebronville checkpoint at FM 1017, right at State Highway 285. One of the most plausible reasons that this smuggling group decided to use such heavy weapons and tactics in smuggling these people is that someone in that cargo, or several of them, were what is considered high value, meaning that they're directly an associate or a family member 
of a very powerful cartel boss. We see this pretty often. On a personal note, the most frustrating part of all of this is the fact that incredible men and women of the intelligence community, federal, state, and local law enforcement work together very well to degrade the Los Zetas cartel. And now to see what is happening with their expansion along the frontier means more violence in the United States, and it means more violence for the citizens of Mexico. And all of this, all of this is preventable and was preventable if the tripwires would have been monitored and action would have been taken. To all still fighting this problem, thank you for your service. Be safe.